Good evening, everybody. Everybody is invited to my hire of award at Southwest Lodge Number 283, October 26th at 2 p.m. Thank you, Wish Paul. The high of award D uh, on the V for some Verde Three Stars Lodge. Worshipful Davi Salcedo, are you around? Worshipful <laughs> sirs, brethren and sisters and visitors, our uh, high of award uh, ceremony will be on November eighth. It's Friday, and uh, it will be uh, six six o'clock. Please uh, come and witness the, uh, the prestigious uh, award. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Um, all right, there goes the invitation. I got you the invitation. Thank you. <laughs> so I hope to see you there. And now, <laughs> I would like to call on a brother. He's a past master of this lodge who's going to give a testimonials for our brother Ron Padua, Worshipful Bill Bias. Everyone has set everything up is going to say, so I'll just say ditto. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone. We've listened to the definition, the criteria for this prestigious award. Ron Padua has qualified for the requirements for consideration of it. Ever since he first joined our lodge, he has shown his support for our Black Mountain Lodge in many ways. The first time I recognized that his leadership abilities is what every Mason needs. I can't uh, explain how, what happened, but I'll give you the gist of what it was. His last statement was, my brothers, you elected this person as master of your lodge. Let's give him a chance to run it. When he said that, he was sitting over here, the junior warden, I mean, junior deacon seat, and I was very impressed, not only because he was a Marine, but he could have joined the Navy if he had passed the test. <laughs> Emphasize the true meanings of masonry, brotherly love, relief, and truth, all in that one statement. Ron has supported Black Mountain Lodge in many ways. I dare to say that most of the members of this lodge don't even know about the things that he has done. That's what this award is all about. Somebody who's sitting in the, in the outskirts, doing everything they possibly can with his work schedule, with his family, and everything. He has always supported us. And uh, we really appreciate that, you can tell by this award. <clears throat> He's helped me personally quite a few times. Uh, I bought a car at the base and I called him up and I said, can I uh, ride in with you tomorrow morning? He said, what for? I said, I bought a car over there and they need to get a ride. He said, I'll come and get you now. So he came over, picked me up, and he was the first one to ride in my new car. <laughs> Not the prettiest one though. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> they always took time to help members of this lodge. He has uh, <clears throat> disappointed me only once. Oh. Man, I've already explained it to him a few times. I was so sorry he never went up the line and became master. Oh. But I know that when he gets to the Philippines, if they ever need a third baseman, He's the best one they could find. <laughs> uh, thank you, Worshipful Bill. Now, I'd like to know more about Brother Run. So, uh, a brother, past master of this lodge also, who is a good fr old friend and a brother master mason of the honorary. 
they observe, they both serve in the military and they have defended our country, which is the peace and harmony we're enjoying right now. They both serve in Iraq. And I know they're doing a lot of things out there that we don't know. So I'd like to introduce to you our very own, who is going to read you the biographical history of our own re. Worshipful. Hurrah! <laughs> Christopher uh, First, uh, it's not fair because I can write 10 pages about him easy. But he told me to make it condensed. <laughs> then he told me to make it more condensed and come up with four pages. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, worshipful sirs, brethren, sisters. Ladies and gentlemen, can you put my beautiful glasses on? <laughs> Thank you, Worshipful Dan, for allowing me to read Brother Ron's citations. It's a great honor and privilege to be part of Brother Rodilio Ron Badua, Sergeant Major, U.S. Marine Corps retired, Hiram Award recipients, ceremony. First, let me start by acknowledging his mother, even though he's not here, Mrs. Melagros Badua, for having such a, an outstanding son. Thank you so much, Madam Benagros. Please extend that to, that to her. And more importantly, for taking such good care of Brother Juan. Brother Juan is the sixth child out of 14 with five brothers and eight sisters. The Bible said, go and multiply. <laughs> Secondly, let us acknowledge his sweetheart, the gorgeous, adorable, and ever-loving sister Amy Badua. They have three daughters and a son. Brother Juan has also two sons serving with the finest fighting force in the world, U.S. Marines. And a daughter with the U.S. Navy but serving as a hospital woman again serving with the Marines. <laughs> and now let's focus on, I have about 1,001 attributes about Brother Juan. He joined the U.S. Marine Corps September 1975 and retired on March 2004. I first met Brother Juan in Camp Pelton in 1978. He almost went to jail together. <laughs> but that's another story. Since then, we have a very close relationship, but not too close to each other, as you may be thinking. <laughs> but I know him very well. Anyway, some highlights of his military career with the U.S. Marines. He was handpicked for a special assignment as a presidential guard staff, non commission officer in charge for Mrs. Ramos. He was seized the uh, Philippines first lady at the time during the 1996 Olympics at Atlanta, Georgia. I had a pleasure in visiting Garrison Padua at the time during his duty in Atlanta while I was stationed in North Carolina. In Operation Rocket Freedom 1 in 2003, he helped the Philippine contingency with their weapons, vests, Kevlar's, transportation, security details, etc. A lot of stuff. Thank God for Sal Major Padua for his availability an outstanding initiative in his part to assist the Philippine contingency. Ironically, after the war in Iraq, I was informed by one of my science majors that Brother Ron was in my area of operation in Kuwait, and I had a pleasure to visit Sergeant Major Ron Badua at the time. He was not expecting that at all, and surprisingly, he was so relaxed in his tent, and was wearing U.S. Marine Corps green shorts green t-shirts, and shower shoes while I was in full combat gear. <laughs> I, said, I told him, what is wrong with this picture? <laughs> so he gave me a camera. After my observation, I realized that due to his hardcore leadership, he has everything under his control. He found ways to send his Maurice and Corman outside the perimeter, 
just to have a typical hot shower. This is huge. If you're a combat veteran, you know what I'm talking about. Though you're not a combat veteran, you still know what I'm talking about. His unit was one of the highest morale in combat. Brother Saji Mayubaduwa, Ron was a proven leader in combat, as well as in peacetime. In his tenure with the U.S. Marines, he earned the Meritorious Service Medal. Some milestone of his contribution to his hometown in La Union, Philippines, and some of you can vouch for this. Every year, he sponsors to the youth basketball players and provides them with uniforms. He also sponsors three scholarships in high school. He also sponsors one scholarship in college. He provided food for elementary students every Christmas day. Every December, he also serves one of the judges at Barangay Fiesta singing contest. A true example on how to define charity in our dictionary. There is no doubt that Batnutan, La Union, Philippines are so blessed to have a citizen with the caliber of Brother Ron Badua. In Masonry, Brother Ron entered Masonry in 2005, September 2005. He served as one of the appointed officers as senior steward in 2006. He continually participates in our rituals and be present at in all our special events in our lives. But Brother Ron is being personally invited by different lodge masters throughout Southern California, including the largest outside our jurisdiction, to partake in the rituals as a third ruffian, as well as deliver the third degree charts. He also has two different lodge positions, including but not limited to Junior Warden, Tyler Stewards, Marshall, and Junior Deacon. I do agree with what's called good bias. You should pursue the East in due time. <laughs> Other remarkable examples I would like to share is about our last annual July 4th celebration. Brother Run is the key element into our annual picnic in Maribesa Park since 2006. Imagine this, since 2006, every year. A day before the event, he comes out and slept in the park with his family just to ensure that the area is reserved for our lads to be occupied for the July 4th event. I visited one night, I promised him to buy some donuts for that evening, and it never showed up, but <laughs> he's still there. <laughs> he volunteered and single-handedly set up the park with canopies, tables, chairs, etc., 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 that he provided to his workplace. After the event is over, he secured and cleaned the area, and other times he managed to load the canopies and chairs without any help in complying due to the lateness of the fireworks event. Just imagine this. You're gonna check it out, you're gonna set it up, you bring it back. Year after year. It's not just one kind of piece, it's a lot of them. I don't know what the accomplishments are. In our previously back-to-back -back auto comparas among the Gula before you get burned. Brother Ron had set up canopies and chairs and to give assistance in providing the same equipment. Just having this equipment available with at least two ice chests with full ice has saved our lads from huge expenses. I'm more nervous than him. In our last minute preparation, he's instrumental in providing our lads a location free of charge to accommodate family members to honor our late brother Gavino for his 40th day in life celebration in 2012. That's huge. He created single-handedly the past master's board and the officer's board in the hallway prior to entering our lodge. Now we got identity. He currently serving as an advisor to the Filipino-American and U.S. Marines Association, which some of you members are here, which has members across the nation in the Philippines. As a matter of fact, he's the author of that thing. He was recognized as a Black Mountain Lodge number 845, 2012, Outstanding Service Award for his outstanding and exemplary service to our brethren, fraternity, and community. He is an active member of his local church and community. He helped the Bicolano community, particularly the Reganios of Southern California, with logistics support during his annual September Bicol Fiesta celebration at Camp Pelton. And being I, 
one of the legal members, of course you can't deny it. <laughs> it's not about telling the principal, he rather gives than to receive. Brother Badua, Ron, in his abilities without a doubt, his humility and dependability. In every life's functions, he's always willing to help in every which way possible without expecting any return. In my experience as a former master of our lots, I could never trade and compare a brother Mason and a personal friend like Brother Badua of his personal integrity and commitment because he's much more a living testament of a true brother Mason. Brother Ron, I want to be emotional, my brother. You carry yourself as an ambassador of the Marine Corps and as a master mason of free and accepted nations wherever you go, 24 7. You strive to make a difference each and every day and you ensure those around you feel a sense of pride and fulfillment. This time, let us give him the honor and respect to recognize his untiring efforts, his generous contribution, and his sincere devotion to our craft. Sisters, sisters, ladies and gentlemen, the recipient to the 2013 Animal Award Black Mountain Lodge number 845, Brother Ronilio Ron Badua.